Hi, all right, are you having fun here? Welcome to part, um, I think this is four, three or four. I'm sorry, I can't really remember because I'm doing this all in the same like two day period. So I think this is one, two, four, I think. Um, uh, it's the one right here after we did the, right here after we did this. Sorry, I'll, it, whatever, whatever it says on here when you opened it, it's, I think this is four. Anyways, um, let's start here with the, um, let's see the chair, okay? So let's, um, go a little closer here. And let's, let's just have fun. If you have it, if you've just joined us, um, you gotta obviously, to get this far, you have to get, uh, all the rest of the parts till you get to this one, okay? Okay, so what I'm going to do here is, this one here is a uh, true blue, okay, and um, I'm going to just kind of jump right in here. I just came back from the dentist, so uh, my mind is not in the right frame here, but that's okay. I'm going to get it all set up so that I'm ready to roll. Okay, so let's say take the uh, true blue, and the first thing I want to do is let's uh, give it a nice base gonna give it a nice good um, bright chair color here okay now on my paper I was so stupid I was writing on it like when I was making my um I was making my uh, the color charts for you guys the little co color combinations and when I was doing them I I set them on top of here so like I could see like I don't know if you can see it, I can see number five for my color combinations five I could see I could see some of the, my writing because it went through on here so just like just so you know when you're when you're not working on your paper make sure you kind of take care of it and put it away store it in one of those plastic sleeve protectors so it doesn't happen what happened to me okay so because that's what happens it like like I say when I was writing I, I was writing on top of another piece of paper and what it did is it made the impression you know onto the bottom of this one so when I go over it like this I can actually see what I what I wrote did you guys know that spies do that actually they'll take a piece of paper and they'll they'll run it up run a piece of uh, pencil over it and you can actually see what someone wrote um, if, if, if it made an impression underneath. okay so oh thank you okay so um, just Make a nice base and see how I put it in kind of light. Just make it in, make it just cut kind of light like that. And then I'm going to come in here and just do the same thing. Take with the true blue. Just but go the direction of the back of the chair. Okay. Just see how I'm going straight up and down motions like this. And 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 you don't want to like okay like when you're when you're doing this don't go don't take it and go down and make even lines because then because then like like this like let's say um here let me get a let me get a scrap piece of paper like don't um hold on don't do don't do don't do this um you know like don't don't make it like this and then and then do another section and another section and another section because you're going to see these division lines right here and you don't want that so you kind of want to stagger it when you're when you're doing it, kind of stagger them when you're when you're filling it in. That way you won't have. That way you're gonna have an even a nice even um, uh, base, you know, without a bunch of uh, directional lines, because you want it to be smooth. And when you're doing a large area like that, it's kind of how you have to do it. Okay, all right. That's a little little bit of trick for you there. All right. So now let's just keep going here. All right. Just fill, fill in these areas here. My computer is turned off for some reason here. All right. So now I'm going to go like this. All right. And then I'm going to okay, go like this here. <laughs> Bless you, whoever that is. Um, you can close my door. I'm recording. So, all right. So now we're going to come up. Let's get this area here. All right, and we're going to come around, okay, and then we're just going to fill in this area here, get a nice blue base here. Okay. Alright. Okay. 
Okay, now I'm going to kind of go over this a little bit now. So now go over a little bit just to darken it a little bit. The first coat you want to, the first layer you just want to kind of just do just exactly like I did it. But then now you want to kind of go in and just darken it a little bit. You don't want to go real dark on the first layer. Um, not when you're doing it like this. You want to just do just like I'm doing it. You don't want to go too heavy on your first layer. But I do want it to have a nice, uh, nice good, you know, I want the color to be kind of rich, you know. So I'm just going to come through here like this. Okay. All right, now we got our nice base in, okay? Isn't that pretty color, huh? So now, <laughs> I can see where I wrote, oh, that's so annoying to me, that's okay. All right, so now what we're gonna do, that's such a pretty, okay, now let's do the tip here. Now on this part here, I wanna kinda leave a um, little bit of a, kinda like a little highlight at the top, maybe a little light up here on the top. So just kinda blend it lightly up in there. Okay, and then we want to just kind of come across here. Okay, and then leave that middle for now. I don't know what I'm going to do there yet, but just yes, bottle along here. Okay, now let's sort of lightly blend up into there and then lightly all right okay now what I want to do here is let's get the um uh grab a let me grab another color here. Grab a sky blue light. Okay, this is a sky blue light. And with the sky blue light, I want to kind of make a little highlight here and kind of bring this down a little. Okay, to really smooth up this area here. You can actually start from the bottom and work up. If you start from the bottom and work up, it kind of will carry that color up for us. So start from the seat, go sideways, and then just kind of blend it up. Okay. See how it just kind of fades it in a little bit. Just like that. Just gives it a nice little highlight in here. Oh, I have a nice highlight. So you get a nice little highlight at the tip of the tip of that chair and let's take that sky blue light here and then let's kind of use that right in the middle here you don't need to do it on the ends yet but just kind of in the middle just to smooth it out get rid of all the white spots you know that are there smooth it out I'm not going if you notice up to the top just because I want to keep that because I'm going to put some shadow in there and if I put that if I put this all the way up there, it'll put wax up there and the, sh the shadow won't come in as good. Okay. All right, just kind of blend it in like that, okay? So it looks nice and smooth for the color, okay? Now what we're going to do is we got to, um, I need to find a color for a blending color, okay? Let's see, what color would be good? I want to add a shade. Um, Let's try this. Let's try um, uh, Copenhagen Blue, okay? So with the Copenhagen Blue, let's kind of come in here across this top. This is actually a really nice mix of color. Now you see how I'm kind of feathering it? I'm, you know how I do my flicking motion that I always do when I do my flowers? 
kind of do the same thing. Up in here you can do a little sawing motion up in here to kind of so it get it in here. But then when you want to bring the color down, just kind of we want it to we want it to have a shade up here, but we want it to be a a nice uh blended shade we you know what I mean so it feathers in nicely a real nice see how it just blends in real nice that's what we want we want a nice even even shade maybe put maybe a little down on the side here and then I think what we're gonna do is let's kinda do the same thing up here Okay, I'm, see how I'm going saw, saw motion up and down, and then let's kind of flick it up a little bit here. And what this does is it, it just really gradually blends it in nicely, so it has a nice blend in there. It'll, okay, see, it gives it a nice, okay, we're going to add some more shading color, but for now, let's just at least have that going for us here. Okay, and then we maybe make it a little darker here. All right, let's do the same thing. Same thing across the whole top. Okay. We just want to have a nice, uh, just so that the back of the chair has got some shade to it. We don't want to have one solid boring color, you know? That's boring. We want to, we're not boring. We're extreme colorists, right? We are far from boring, aren't we? We are not boring. All right, let's do the same down on here. This is, and it's kind of a nice, you know, you don't want to set too hard, depending on how much shadow you like, but we're going to add another shadow color. This is just one, you know. You know me, I like to have lots of layers. Okay, so just get this going here. Gosh, I went to the dentist I'm t just to get the consult, you know, because I'm so afraid of going to the dentist. Like, I haven't been to the dentist and I'm talking years and years and years. I'm so afraid. I had a really bad experience. Um, really, really, really bad. I was actually raped at a dental office. So, um, I have, like, massive PTSD. And um, so I am really afraid of going. And I, uh, uh, so anyway, so uh, it's really expensive. And insurance doesn't cover dental work and I don't know what I'm gonna do I really have no idea I don't have the money to pay so I have no idea what I'm gonna do I'm not <coughs> oh, everybody has their crosses to bear don't we Yeesh. so nervous I gotta go back again tomorrow now they're gonna do some a little bit more x-rays and try to get me a little bit more pinpointed as to what I could do first, you know. Like the most important, like the infection and stuff that more my, it's hurting me. I have to do that first. And so like, I guess I gotta just do a little bit at a time. It's terrible. I know it's gonna be at least $4,000, which obviously I don't have, so I just don't know what I'm gonna do. It's terrible. Go in the lottery, huh? Because really, that would be nice. It's stupid that insurance doesn't cover that because, I mean, it's dangerous. I mean, I have an infection, he said, going on, and it's bad. So, I don't know. It's so stupid. Anyway, I don't want to bring you guys down. Just something I'm thinking about right now. Sometimes I color to keep my mind off of things for sure, but once in a while, you know, you can't help it. Sometimes things just pop in your head, even though you're trying not to think about them. Of course, I just came back, and as soon as I came back, this is the first thing I came to do was to finish the video <laughs> for you guys. So. Thank you for being patrons of mine, too. That 
really help. I'm up to 120 a month now. Um, I need to get a new camera too because the camera is bad. If you notice, it's it was broken and I kind of got it fixed, but it's dark and it's just it's not really what I need. But it's doing the job. I mean, hopefully you guys can see it. I mean, it's not as good as some of the other videos. People that they do, they have money, they can get it. I do not. <laughs> I know I'm not I'm not really sure how the Patreon works. I know that there's ways I could create different tiers, you know, put charge more money for different stuff, but I don't know how to do that. I just know how to call her. <laughs> I don't know all this fancy schmancy stuff. I'm just an old lady. What do I know? Okay, see now how I blended that in? So now it's just got some it has a little bit of some color. Now what we've got to do, I'm gonna make a little little streaker. Needs to have a little bit more. Um, just gotta have some more, uh, you know, stuff going on here. I just don't want it to be one solid color. I think that that's just not cool. I want to make this a really cool chair. Okay, I'm gonna. Shade the back of these sides on these here. All right, all right. Now, um, let's see. What should I do now? Here, let's shade maybe the bottom of this here a little bit too. Let's add a little bit of the bottom of this here. A little, you know, just add a little here, a little here. Let's put it in just just a little, just. A little, you know, just so it's got some. Okay, all right. Now we're gonna darken the tip. Okay, so let's see, what color should I use for that? I think um, I need a darker color. Uh, let's see, which is this one? This is an indigo blue. Let me see if I like this blue. Mm. No, I don't see. You don't really even see this blue. No, let's not use an indigo. No, I don't like the indigo. Oh, well, no. Let me see. Um, let's see what that 90% uh, cool gray will do. Let's try that. Let's try that and see what that will do. Yeah. Let's try that and let's see if, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that gives me a good shade. So take that 90% cool gray that we've been using for our shade color and let's just give it some more. Um, let's darken that shade a little bit at the top. Just at the top, okay? Let's see. And then, yeah, that's good. And then let's uh, darken it way more in the corner. The glare on here is kind of bad for me. The way that the lighting is set up, it's hard for me to see. Yeah, I like that. Okay, see, that's a really nice, kind of a subtle shade. So let's come down here. Careful that you don't get inside here. I don't know what I'm going to do in there yet, but let's do a little bit on the outside of it too. Just because it needs. I don't want anything too stark. I want it nice and see how I'm doing it kind of lightly on there, on this inside there. So you just do it nice and lightly. See how it gives it a, a little bit of a goodness. Okay, then come up here. And then we'll just kind of bring the color up carefully though. No? You can always add more, you know. That's the thing about this. You can always add more. So you can't take it out. I mean, you can. I made mistakes and I've erased the whole thing and started over in the middle. I mean, you can. It's just not the optimum. All right. You don't want to add too much. Yeah, that looks that looks real natural, doesn't it? Okay. You like how I'm talking to myself? <laughs> funny my kids walk by and say, Mom, who are you talking to? Yeah, just myself, kids. Don't worry. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Alright. Now let's 
come up and down here. Do kind of the same same thing. Um, what I do is I, I just kind of pull my head back a little bit when I'm doing this so I can kind of see um, about, you know, how it looks from far away and where I'm at. So like pick up your picture and then just kind of look at it or kind of, you know, like look at it from, from a different angle, hold it up and look at it. That way you can kind of judge it and see what you need to if you like it or if you need to change it at all because sometimes when you move your head around and, and back up from it or maybe take a picture of it with your phone um, that's also a nice little trick you can do take a picture of it you know with your phone and then and then look at it and then you can kind of judge and say well maybe I need some more there or you know it's a little trick just so you can because it's kind of neat, you know, when you look at it at a different angle, you can kind of see what you need to add or what you need to change. And, you can, and then you can even, like, if you have to get a, go away for a while, and then you can look, come back and look at it. And then you can look at it in, in another, like, even if you come back in a day, like, let's say you have to go to work or whatever, or go to the store, and you come back and look at it, and you look at it, and you'll see something different and say, oh, okay, I need that. I need to add that or... You know, I need to put something else in there. It needs more. It needs more shading in one area, or it's not. You know what I mean? You might want to add a highlight somewhere. You know, so, you just okay. Let's lightly do it out here on this side too. Just nice and light. Just don't push too hard. You can always come back in. But you do want to have a little bit on the sides there because it just gives it, see, it just, it really just kind of brings it out. You see how it just brings that detail out as opposed to the difference here? See, this is, this is boring and this has got a little bit more 3D effect. Okay, and that's, that's what we're after, you know, as extreme colors. That's what I'm trying to teach you anyway. I'm trying my best to teach you as best I can, you know. Hope I'm explaining it right. I'm showing you right. I mean, I'm trying. To do it, I'll just teach you. I mean, I'm not a certified teacher by any means, so I just just kind of showing you what I do. So I never went to school for this. I have no idea. What, I just I could be doing it all wrong. I have no idea. I said it's just what I do. <laughs> I don't know. A professional art teacher would probably say, "So what are you doing? It's all wrong." Well, I don't know. This is just the way I do it. I'm joining a coloring club um, for senior citizens. It's at this, because I don't have any friends, um, like real ones, you know. I am in my house all the time. But I st I'm starting to think, you know, being like a shut-in like this is not good. My, my psychiatrist is saying, Lisa, you know, uh, it's cool that you're home all the time and you're working. And, I mean, you got your kids and stuff, but you need to socialize. And I go, I do. I talk to my Facebook friends, and I'm always doing stuff. She goes, yeah, but you need to you know, do, do stuff, you know, like, with real people, like, not Facebook people, like, you know, I said, yeah, all right, well, so, uh, but see, also, I don't want other people's drama either, it seems like I always got to have their drama, so, I don't know, but anyway, I, uh, joined this thing at the, the adult center place, and they have a coloring club, and I'm going to go on, um, it's every other Monday, from 1 o'clock to 3 o'clock in the afternoon and everyone just hangs out in colors and I'm gonna go down there and maybe I'll meet some nice ladies you know and maybe there'll be guys there I don't know I don't think I don't know if guys go but I'm just gonna uh, maybe uh, they, they could teach me something maybe I'll teach them something who knows I think it'll be fun though you know? talk to real people, you know, that'd be kind of cool. I wish I could talk to you guys, that would be awesome. I gotta figure out a way. There has to be a way, that's, would be so fun. Okay, see, so see how that made a nice little, 
thing here. Let's go bring this up here on the side, I think. I'm just going to blend this in a little. Alright. My my 17-year-old just went to the BTS concert. BTS is like a Korean band, and so she's still in California right now. So I'm waiting for her to come back. All right, so this, if you watch me on my Facebook videos, you'll see she's always on there when I'm cooking, because I do a lot of cooking on my Facebook um, channel. I love to cook. That's why I'm so flippin' fat. I'm just a giant fatty, but whatever, I don't care. Life is short. Actually, I do care. I'm trying to go on a diet. Get the word trying. Yeah. Well, I went to Panera Bread after the dentist, and I got a really cool. I got a strawberry. Um, strawberry. Uh, it's a strawberry poppy seed salad uh, with chicken, and then I got. It came with a turkey avocado sandwich, a half of one. I got that. It was so yummy. And then uh, so. Yep, and then right now I'm drinking a, a Michelob Ultra beer. It's got like 60 something calories, 65 calories or 90 calories. Very little calories, so I'm doing that. So, I mean, I'm trying, you know, to stick with a diet. It's not easy. Okay, so there's your, there's the shadow. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now what I want to do is we're gonna. I need to not have this quite so stark. Okay. So what I want to do is I'm gonna I want to uh, I want to dark I'm kind of darken this up a little bit because I think it's a little bit too much highlighted, don't you? I mean I like the highlight. Don't get me wrong. I just don't want it quite so much. It's just not natural. So I'm just gonna put in a little bit. Just bring down. This is the this is that Copenhagen blue, the same blue that we were using before. I'm just gonna just bring this color up here, just so it's not quite so crazy on the, you know. Okay, yeah, there we go. Much better. All right, it looks really nice. Okay, I like it. It's nice and bright. Now let's take. Um, uh, we're gonna have to do something over here. It's just not enough. Out of shadow. Let's take the um, that ninety percent, the gray, and let's. We're gonna have to add some shadow to this here. All right. This ninety percent gray is a really great color for using for shadows and stuff. Black is nice too. It's just too much, and then a lot of times when I shade, I'll use a darker color of the same color. But with the blues. With the blues, there's really not, I mean, you can have your indigo and then your Copenhagen, they're not dark enough, um, depending on what you're trying to do. They're really not, if you really want to go to the extreme route, the way I like to do it. I'm going to go with this up, the Copenhagen blue, and I'm going to kind of darken this up a little bit. Maybe come up a little. I'm just going to, just give me a little bit of extra touches. I thought maybe this was a little too stark. Just kind of, this is really pretty. Oh, messed up right there. It's all right. There we go. Okay. All right. It looks really pretty. I like it. Okay. So now what I wanted to do here is we got to do the seat. Um, the seat here, I think we're going to do it the same way, but I'm not going to put the light um, on. Yeah, I will. I'll do the light. Um, let's take it, the true blue. And let's just base the whole thing in the true blue. Okay, but I'm gonna, um, actually, let's go this way. Let's go around like this, the way that it's bending, okay? I wanna go the way it's bending here. Okay. I'm not using, I'm not putting the base of the um, sky blue on here, okay. 
Not yet. I might put it. In, I may put it a little highlight in the middle. Okay. Make sure it's sharp. Okay. Now let's do the same thing here. Having an electric pencil sharpener is a lifesaver, I tell you. I love it. I use the Exacto. It's called a... I'll put a link, if I can remember, to the bottom, okay? Because it's the best. I, I've tried a bunch of different pencil sharpeners. They all suck. They're just... They're, they're terrible. This is a good one. It really is a good one. It's And it's cheap, too. It's not even very expensive. But it works great. Love it. I'll put a link because there's there's a, there's a couple different ones and I've tried them and they're no good. It breaks the lead. And these pencils are expensive. It's no good. And the the tips don't come out good. This one makes the best tip and so fast. It doesn't shred your pencil up, and make it small really fast either. I'll definitely give you a link to it. I'll, I'll remember. I hope. I'll try. Oh, I'll try. If not, email me or message me, okay, and say, hey, Lise, give me that link. Okay. Because don't go buying stuff. Like, the best thing is when when you go and you buy things um, by word of mouth because, you know, you're buying it for people that have tried it, you know, that, that know, you know, from experience, you know, not from trial and error. Okay, that looks really pretty. Okay, now... I want to um, do the same thing and darken it again now. Okay, so um, let's darken it with our, um, see what I mean by the point though? Look at that point, look at that. Perfect, isn't that awesome? Perfect point, it's so cool. All right, Copenhagen blue. Now I wanna um, come across like this, all right? And I wanna give it the illusion that it's kind of, you know, bending. And I don't wanna have a straight line because that would be unnatural. All right, so I'm going to have some of the edges are going to be longer and some shorter because if you go straight across, it's not going to look good. So we're going to kind of vary the shades. I didn't watch Ellen yet today. I kind of have a routine in my shows that I watch. I watch Wendy Williams at 10 because uh, I love my entertainment shows. I I've, you know, my, you know, I have, you know, my father's Marlon Brando, in case you're new and don't know that. But, um, and so I talk to a lot of celebrity friends and stuff, and so I'm really in tune with my celebrity stuff. And once in a while, I do my little podcast, and I go on radio shows and stuff. And um, I just love my, you know, celebrity, my entertainment news. So I watch my Wendy Williams, and then sometimes I'll watch some of the other shows just to see what's going on. And then um, I'll do my um, The Real sometimes if I have time. But my, definitely I'll do um, Dr. Oz at 1 because I like to see what's going on there. And then I do um, the news, of course. I'll do the news. Then I do um, I, my TMZ and Inside Edition. Those are like my main ones. Oh, and Ellen. I always watch Ellen. You know, I've been watching her for 16 years. I haven't missed one episode. If I, if I like I'm doing something, I was in the hospital once. I'll watch it, but if not, I will tape it and always watch it. I'm like a total avid Ellen watcher. Okay, see how I went around like that? You guys were watching, right? Well, even though I was yapping. Okay. I'm just trying to um, bring it in, but I'm, I'm kind of staggering the way that the shadows are going because I don't want it to be t like a straight line across. I just think it would be kind of silly. It's want to be. So I'm just kind of, you know, like some higher, lower. Okay, like this. And then I watch, you know, my other shows I watch are like, um, I watch like 911, The Resident. Uh, I watch uh, Last Man Standing on Fridays. 
Uh, Modern Family. I like funny stuff, you know. I don't know. So, well, the hospitals were not funny, but I used to watch Grey's Anatomy all the time until they killed off my doctor, the dreamy. Oh, that I always stick with my 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 good ones at night, you know, like my Two and a Half Men and King of Queens and Everyone Loves Raymond. Those are my staples at night if I'm ever needing to watch something funny. Okay, now I'm going to take um, the cool gray again. 90% cool gray, and this time I'm not, I just want to want to make sure I have a straight line, so I'm going to just kind of do the line first. Just because I want to keep that line straight, where the, but I'm still going to bring it down. Okay, so we got the shadow here. Now I want to bring the shadow around here and then I want to do the same thing but I just want to just flicking motion flicking motion putting more pressure you want to put the pressure here really hard you know kind of hard just kind of hard and then just just kind of flick it I guess that's the way I call it that's what I do it so I call it the flicking my flicking method <laughs> I'm just so uh, good with my terms aren't I but yeah, that's what I call it. Okay, so I'm just flicking it up here. All right. Yeah, you see, like it. I call mine. So here's the sawtooth and the flick. <laughs> sawtooth and the flick. Oh, I'm so weird. Okay. Oh, it's okay. I'm going to be doing, making those probably darker. Okay. You know, it would be cool if I made a, like a trip for everybody. Like a, like we can have like a, like a trip. Like, you know, everybody could like, I'll rent a place at the, at a hotel in Phoenix, because I live really close to Phoenix, right where the airport is. Maybe we could make like a coloring group, um, like a like a like a where I could go in and I'll teach you guys live, and we'll take a picture and we'll all color together, and we'll make a like a like a like a seminar, like a like a retreat, you know, like a coloring retreat, a treat, retreat. Ooh, wouldn't that be fun? Maybe ooh, I should do that, huh? What do you think? Make a coloring re retreat. You guys fly out here. It's like I'll find a place like really close to the airport, so we could get it like a hotel, deal on hotel or something. You guys can hang out. We could just friggin' sit in color and have like a training group. You know, I'll sit and I'll teach and I'll be there. I could actually critique you guys right when you guys are there. You know, I think that would be so fun. We should do that, huh? All right, so there we go. There. All right, now let's. Um, I'm up here a little bit. I think we need to do something up in here. I think it needs a little bit. Let's let's mess this up a little bit up in here. I'm gonna do the same thing. It's kind of down in there. I don't know if you guys want to do that. If you don't, if you guys like yours the way it was, and then leave it. I just thought mine. I don't know. It was just a little bit too dark up in here. I'm gonna. I'm just going to dirty up mine a little. That top part just looked a little too neat, didn't it? There we go, that's fine. Alright. Okay. Alrighty. Ooh, it's party. Oh, a party chair, huh? So, you know, when, now what you do is when you want to look at it from far away, you've got to pull your head back when you're done and you just kind of take a little look-see and say, okay, well, do I like it? All right, take your um, sky blue light and just kind of maybe in the middle, give it a little bit of blending here. With that sky blue light just, you know, to kind of, just to, so it's not so, you know, Mix it up. Just mix it up. It's fine. Okay. 
use that to blend it. Because when you're doing that, sometimes there's some little white spots in there. And you could even come in here if you want. Just kind of just get it. There you go. Okay. So there's our little chair. Ooh, we should do that pillow to match, huh? That, but you know, so that it's kind of like a matching pillow and maybe matching blanket, matching pillow. Just so you know, you want everything to match. Like I matched, you know, how we matched this with the drapes. You know how the, you know, does the pillows match the drapes? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, just like we're decorating here. All right, so what should we work on next? Um, can we have to do this stripe here? What do we want to do? Um, maybe we can add some purples. That way it'll blend in, huh? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it with the purple then. All right, so I'm thinking, or let's see, blue. We can uh, we can add some yellows. I'm just trying to think here. All right, let me turn this off and I'm gonna think for think about it for a minute. Okay, so I think we're gonna do it in the purple. That way it matches. Okay, so let's do it. All right, so let's take our um, lavender. And with the lavender, let's just, yeah, that looks good. It matches. I was going to maybe do an orange, I thought, an orange and a red, you know, yellowish, I don't know. But then I decided I'll just make it match. Okay, so let's just make it all match up. We'll just... Do the same thing here, just fill it all in. You know that most people they start pictures and they don't finish them. I hope you guys finish this and you stick with the videos and finish your picture because you're gonna feel so good when you're done with it and frame it. You know, or you could frame it or you can scan it and give it away because Christmas is coming, you know, soon or you know Father's Day or whatever. You can, you know, you just take time and every time you want to work on it, just you know finish it because it's kind of you totally worth it. Yeah, it looks really nice. Okay, all right, now let's take our uh, lilac, and I want to shade it here, and I'm going to do some shading over here, okay, and we're going to shade it here on the side, shade at the bottom, middle, sides, let's go up the middle on the side, actually just go middle and just kind of, if you go in the middle, just make it like a thick, so you're kind of a little bit on each side, you know. Okay, and then we're going to go down this side a little bit. Let's go up our normal way, and then the top is going to be darker, right? And let's get that top, let's get that bottom, get the side, get this side going, do some highlight, try not to Try to fill the middle. You want to keep some highlight in there. Well, we can always put some white in there. All right, let's go here and get some going down here. Let's get some going up here. Okay, and then go around, go around, go around, flick it up. Okay. No, see? Nice and easy. Easy peasy, easy peasy, easy peasy. Dark purple. Okay, oh, not too much though. So. Okay. Kind of go over some of these lines with that dark purple, huh? Come up a little. Okay. Okay, we wanna come down here, 
flick it down just like our normal way that we do it. Okay. Satu, satu, satu. Satu, round. Okay, flick it down. Flick it down, 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 flick it down. All right. Um, I kind of went a little bit too far, but that's okay. Don't have to be even. I'll okay. Go down the middle. Let's do these lines. Hi, I'm a f I'm recording. You back? Mm -hmm. Where'd you go to the park? Yeah, can I have this? Yeah, with the chips? Yeah. Yeah, they're for you. Yeah. I got you some macaroni and cheese too down in there. White. I got white cheddar from Panera Bread. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay, so film this up here. Nice and he's a twelve. He went to the park with this branch, which is nice to see him finally getting off that dang Fortnite video game. It's all he ever thinks about when he comes home from school after he does his homework. Okay, so this comes up here. Okay, see? Oh, that looks nice. I like it. Okay, then we're going to do the same thing here. Let's come around. Right, come around and up. Let's give us some love over here. Alright. See how I'm just flicking it up? Okay, now come down here and then just give your little um, lines some goodness. Okay, and then the same way, come across, flick it. Flick it a little. Pretty, huh? I like it. it blends together. This dark purple is so pretty. I wish my eyes were purple like Elizabeth Taylor's. They're green. Okay, there we go. That looks good. I don't even think I want to darken it. I think we're just gonna... I mean, you can if you want to. Here's a little indigo blue. We might as well... I mean, I'm putting this on your chart as um, number eight uh, because it's the same as the drapes. So you can do as much of number eight as you want. I um, can add a little blue in these cracks if you want. Be a little down in here. Alrighty. Okay. Oh, that's good. Good, good, good. Now what? Well, we should do this pillow. Um, maybe there's so much blue here and so much blue here. I don't know. Do we? I want too much of the. Well, but we want everything to match, don't we? So, I don't know. Okay. So let's do um the the light, the little light. So. Now, um, I guess what we'll do here is let's take really, really lightly. But this is, um, oh, sorry, canary yellow. Okay, let's take canary yellow very lightly. Okay, just like this. Okay, very lightly because I'm not sure here how I want to do this yet. Okay, let's take uh, orange. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, let's try yellow to orange first. Alright, um, 
with some yellow and orange, let's give it a little glow here. So very lightly, let's come along the side. I'm going to start off light because you can always go darker, okay? So yellow and orange, nice and light. See, like the kind of little circles, let's just go up. I want to just go along the edge here. Okay, see how I just very lightly went around here. And then let's go down here, very lightly. Okay, very lightly. Ever so lightly. Okay, I want to come around this top here. I can dar start darkening it just a little, but I'm leaving a little highlight. See how I'm coming here? I'm not in between here and here. I'm making like a little because I want it to be a little highlighted. And I'm going to flick it down a little bit, very lightly again, because I'm not sure. I don't want to get it too much. So just lightly, because we can always go back and make it darker if we want to. But for now, I want to just be careful with it. Okay, and just come along the side here, a little on the tip. Leaving this like area here light right in this area. Okay. Okay, then um okay, so that was these two. Alright, now let's take um uh, orange, just a regular orange, and let's start just darken that up just a little bit more. I think it needs a little bit more. So let's darken that up a little. Okay, let's give it some glow. Alright, I'm going to come down in here. Just give it some glow. Blend it in nicely. Alright. And I want this side here to be a little bit more darker. So I'm going to put a little. Now, yellow and red make orange. So let's put a little bit of, let's leave the top, top light. Put some orange in here. Okay, that was orange. Okay, let's try um, uh, permanent red. So let's put some permanent red in here now. Alright, and just a little bit of red in here so we have a little bit of red. So I don't want to get too much. We can always put more, and right? I don't want to do too much because. Um, I, I want to kind of come around this edge here a little bit. Get a little bit on the edge here. A little bit on the edge, right? Okay. But I do want it darker on this side, so just kind of, see, just kind of shade it in very so lightly. Let's come across the top here, and let's bring this down right about there, so it has a nice, just kind of like a little edge, because so I want it to be like glass, so we're going to, see, just so lightly, just put it in nice and light. Keeping that middle part where it's kind of glowing, you know, because we want that part to glow. So let's just, but I do want it darker right in here because we're going to have a little bit of drama going. Actually, we need to have a little bit more, let's put some in here, a little bit at the bottom. Come up a little. Okay. Okay. So we got some of that. And I think, let me try this. Let's try this. Um, this is Scarlet Lake. Because I think it needs to be a little bit more uh, red. So let's take some Scarlet Lake and kind of darken it up a little. Some Scarlet Lake. Alright, that's kind of good enough. Alright, and I want it even, kind of so it looks a little bit more rounder, right? Here, it's kind of... Okay. 
Okay, now let's take that yellow again and blend this in with the yellow so it's not, and then fill this in. There we go, that's fine. Now let's take that canary yellow and we're going to have to give it some glow, a little bit of glow here. So just kind of lightly add some glow here and we're going to add some glow here, right? Because it's shining on here, right? So we're going to put a little bit of glow on the wall. Right, I've got a little bit of glow, maybe down in here. Don't really see too much of it, but we can. Yeah, oh, yellow and blue. Remember now, yellow and blue make green. So let's not touch the blue. Okay. All right. There we go. That's glowing. That's glowing. That's good enough glow. Okay. All righty. So we got that. What do you think? Wasn't that hard, huh? All right. Mm, maybe we can take our white gel pen. And with our white gel pen, let's give it so it looks like glass with the white gel pen. Let's try. Going to make a little line here. A little, so it looks like this is just white, your regular white gel pen. Let that dry. Put some, Um, I'm going on the side, if you can't see me, I'm just scribbling it on a piece of paper to, so that I can try to get the pen to work here a little bit better. you you got to make it go by, by putting it on a piece of paper. You know. There, just, just give it a little thing here. You know. If you don't like the way that it comes out when you do your little, um, this, you can just scrape it off. It comes off really easy if you don't like the gel pen. All right, so we got that going. All right, now what we got to do is we got to make our little, um, the candelabra here. Um, let me, uh, put, let me put this on your chart. By the way, this is how your chart's coming out, uh, so far. So what I do is I'm going to give you your, um, your numbers. So your numbers would be here like your, this is your color combination one and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all, et cetera, et cetera. And then all you do is you take your, your combination sheets and wherever it says one, you put in one, your four, your two, you know, here's your eight for your drapes, you know, your 11 for the chair, whatever, your wood combination. So whatever, um, whatever the number corresponds to, you know, your, uh, color by numbers is where you put the right match the color combination to the thing. So that's how it's coming out so far. All right. So I let me go add um, this color combination, which is going to be um, this one is going to be number twelve for that. So let me add that to this really quick before I forget. So I'm going to add this. This is a lot of work doing these things, huh? It's not easy. I'll tell you that it is not easy making these. So. Hope you guys appreciate this because I love doing it though for y'all. So don't think I don't. So I'm gonna um, let me add this to here. Uh, I'll let me turn this off and I'll be right back. Okay, so here I put uh, number twelve uh, for your lamp, and then here's your combination for number twelve. Okay, so just just you you know how to follow these by now. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so there you go for that. So let's get do something else now. Okay, so, all right, so let's do, um, finish this off, and then we'll end this video and go on to the next. So I'm going to, um, let's base all of this in, um, canary yellow, okay? Just base it all in, all of the lamp. I'm just going to make a gold lamp. Not these little beads, though. Just the lamp. All right. Okay, now right, so we based our lamp. Okay, now let's take, um, okay, make sure it's sharp because it's really kind of small, okay? So what we're going to do now is uh, let's come up here with this, uh, this is our gold, this is our uh, bronze, sorry. Let's take our bronze and I'm going to, I want to leave some highlights, okay? So just, let's put some 
bronze in here. And then um, I'm going to put some bronze in here. And I'm kind of leaving the middle a little bit open. I might cover it later, I'm not sure. I'm just putting some bronze in here uh, on each side. Okay, Bron bronze in the middle here. Leaving that middle open because I want to make a nice little highlight. It's fun using these colors. I really don't use these bronzes too often. You know, the metallics. And then I'm just going to fill in this whole thing. Alright, and I'm just going to fill in this whole thing. Okay, and then I'm just going to leave a little highlight. Just fill in this whole thing. And leave a little highlight. That's fine. A little highlight. And fill that in. Okay, there you go. A little gold lamp. Alright, that's easy. Then I'm going to take this one here, which is our uh, metallic gold. Alright, and we're going to take the metallic gold now. And let's come along the side. The metallic gold and and then you know, across maybe the bottom here and across here and you want to get some over here too and leave and then on the side leave the middle open and then let's come up here and come up here Look at the bottom, so maybe, maybe a little bit up underneath here. Just darken it up, give it some, you know me, we've got to have layers going. Okay, and then over here, let's shade it from this side. So just go maybe halfway, you know, like, like that. So you have like kind of highlight right there. However you want to do it, I mean, I'm just... I'm not even going to shade that side. I'm just going to shade this side. That's fine. Just... Um, if, if you go over your black and you want to um, just take your, um, your uh, the 90%, you know, because sometimes you go over that black, you want to, you know, go back and fix it. That's and if you went over it with your gold, you know, like over here, like I did. It looks weird if you don't. My stupid OCD makes me crazy. So see how I'm just going over it? A nice, sharp. A nice, crisp. You know, just, I don't know. This gives it. It makes it look a little better. I'm going to leave these white like little beads, you know, or whatever you want to do. You can make them purple if you want, or blue, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to leave them white. I'm actually going to take my gel pen and uh, just kind of fill them in the middle with my gel pen. They look like little beads. And then I'm actually going to maybe make a little highlight on here and maybe put a little highlight even in here with the gel pen, you know. Maybe even in here if you want. Oh, whatever. However. I don't know if I like that. I'll just get rid of it. Alright, there you go. See? Just little details, you know, whatever. However you wanna do it. Maybe make a little ball up here if you want. Whatever. Make a little ball, come down, whatever. I know, it's a little much, right? Sorry, I just get into my drawing, my art sometimes. Sometimes I just get like that. You know, like I see this here and I see, oh, I went over it, it's not perfect. Then my OCD gets me and I'm like, oh, I gotta fix it. <laughs> Alright, there you go. Alright, so there, oh, that looks nice. See, it's got a nice little highlight. It looks like a gold little lamp up there. Okay, um, that little, my, See, but it's daytime, so I don't really want to make it too glowy there because it's daytime, you know. I don't, it's not glowing it, you know. So, whatever, you can add more glow if you want. Okay, I'm going to end this video here. I'm going to put this on your chart. 
uh, for the next colors. But um, uh, I'm going to end this video here and we'll start uh, another video. Okay, so um, I hope you guys are really loving the way it, it's coming out. Um, I don't know if you can see the details or not. I just wanted you to, might as well get a little closer. You can blend that with some yellow too if you wanted to. But uh, yeah, so. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. I hope um, I'm going to try to figure out what I'm going to do over here. I can see here that this is a little see-through, the scarf, because uh, I can see that way she drew it. I can see the line through the bed. And so I'm thinking maybe we'll, I'll try to we'll figure out a technique to make this like a see-through kind of a scarf laying down. Um, but I need to think about some colors. I don't know what I'm going to do. But either way, i got to change the battery and i got to um, upload the video. So I'm going to do all that right now, and then um, I will um, come back to it. All right, good thing I have some energy tonight. I don't feel like sleeping, so I'm going to finish it for you. Okay, uh, ciao for now. Have fun. Bye.